Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my very first ever makeup tutorial. I am super excited to film this video for you guys today. Um, if you can't tell already, I have a bit of a new setup. Um, and yeah, I'm just really excited to film this video. I've never done a tutorial before, but I've been getting a lot of questions about sort of my signature sort of smoky eye look that I typically wear. And so I thought I would just try to show you guys how I do it. Um, just a quick disclaimer, I am not a makeup artist. I have never been professionally trained to do makeup or anything like that. I guess I'm just sort of a well-informed consumer and I practice a lot, I guess you could say. I've been doing this look for a while. And yeah, if you want to learn the steps that I take and all of the products that I use to achieve this smoky eye, then please keep watching. Okay, let's get started. So I've zoomed you guys in kind of close so you can see what I'm doing. I've already done the rest of my face and my brows, so I'm literally just gonna do this eye look for you guys. And I'm gonna start out by putting a Clinique eye smoothie all over my lid and all the way up to my brow bone. If I can get it out of this little tube that's in. Um, I like these as an eye base. They have antioxidants in them and stuff, and they just make the other shadows blend really well. It's kind of the same idea as a primer, but this does have a bit of a shimmer to it. Um, but I like that. And I just apply it with my finger. I'm just going to pop it all over my lid. And then I'll put a tiny bit under my brow as well. can't tell you guys what the name of this color is of this because the I literally rubbed all the writing off the packaging it's almost gone but it's just like a nude shimmery color okay so that's pretty much my base and now I'm gonna go in with the sleep palette and define my crease a bit and I'm going to start out with this kind of orangey transition color that I always use I love this as a transition shade like it makes your eyes look the whole looks just look really blended so I'm just gonna pop this into the crease I'm using a Mac 224 fluffy blending brush and you don't have to be too precise with this step because it's just for the transition and I really round out the shape of my eye first before I drag the color out towards the tail of my eyebrow I do drag my shadows out a bit, kind of wing them out. I feel like that elongates the shape of the eye, which is something that I usually go for. And I just keep packing that color on until I'm happy with how it looks. And now I'm going to go in with a bit of a darker shade and define my crease a bit more. Again, from the sleek palette, I'm going to use this shade here. It's kind of a dark taupe brown color, and I'm switching over to a MAC 217 brush. This is just a little bit more of a dense um, brush. Still fluffy, though. This is literally my favorite blending brush of all time. And I start by popping the color in the center of my lid just to really define the center of my crease and then I'm just going to drag it back and forth in windshield wiper like motions going all the way to my inner corner and then all the way out and I am dragging that out at the outer corner of my eye up towards the tail of my brow Finding the crease a lot will make your eyes look bigger, especially with that really shimmery shadow or primer that we put on the lid, which really makes the eyes pop. I'm just doing the same thing, going back and forth, dragging the color out towards my brow bone, or the tail of my brow, sorry, at this corner, 
and just blending. And after every dark color that I add into my crease, I go back in with that transition shade and my 224 brush and I just blend over the top to make sure everything stays really blended. Now I'm going to go in and define the outer V of my eye a little bit more and I am going to be using the black from this Sleek palette, but I'm just barely going to dip that same 217 brush into the black <clears throat> so there's not too much product on there. It's going to be more of a grayish tone than a black. And I'm going to start by packing that color on the outer V of my eye before I start to blend. I find that by packing the color on first to where you really want it placed, it helps with the shaping once you go into blend. And I'm really just concentrating that color right on the outer V of my eye. Dragging it up towards the tail of my brow. And then once I've got it packed on, I'm just going to blend it only about halfway into my crease and halfway onto the bit of my lid. Now once I feel like I've got enough color on there, I'm going to go back one final time into that um, warm transition color and just blend out the edges one final time. And then I'm going to go and just make the inner corners of my lid even a little bit more sparkly. And I'm going to use the shimmer shade that I love from this palette. It's like a champagne color. I'm just taking that on a smaller, find shadow brush, and I'm going to put it kind of near the bottom, near my lash line, and I'm going to pack it all the way to the inner corner and put it there as well. Use it as an inner corner highlight as well. I love this shade. It's so pretty. It's picks up the light so well. Okay, now we're going to move on to the lower lash line. And I'm going to start out by packing on that dark brown color really close to my lash line, and then I'm going to move to go basically lighter so that we basically smoke out the bottom lash line in the same kind of way that we did the crease. But this time you start, I start from dark to light versus light to dark, if that makes sense. So I'm going to pick up that darker taupe brown shade that I darkened my crease with, with a flat shader brush, and just pack this really close to my lash line. And I don't really go past two thirds of the way, I like to keep the inner corners of my eye really bright. I feel like it helps make them look more open and wide because my eyes aren't really that like super far apart so I feel like by keeping that inner corner pretty light and bright it helps just elongate the shape of the eye even more. So now I'm going back with my 217 brush and I'm actually going to pick up a little bit of a shimmery color. I'm going to pick up this color here. And this is the same brush I've been using, so yes, it is dirty. Sorry, my bad. I'm not a makeup artist. <laughs> but I'm just going to run this underneath that color and start to blend it out. I like to really smoke out my bottom lash line for two reasons. One, I feel like it balances the eye, and two, I feel like it really helps me to cover up some of the fine lines and things that I have under my eyes. 
So the last color that I'm going to put under there is that same orangey transition shade that we've been using this whole time, but this time it's on my 217 brush, not on my 224, and I'm going to run that underneath those other two colors that we've already packed on. And the last thing for shadows is I'm going to pick up that shimmery shade and bring that on my lower lash line from the inner corner about halfway over. Maybe a third. Okay, now we're ready for liner and mascara. I am going to be using a NARS gel liner for this look with a MAC 266 angled liner brush. I just got this brush actually and I'm kind of learning how to use it. So I'm not feeling as confident as I would say with like a, a pen type eyeliner, but we'll get there, right? We'll get there. So with this, I just dip the um, brush into the gel and I really like wipe off the sides of the brush so that most of the product is focused only on that very skinny tip and wish me luck doing this on camera. <laughs> so I always start at the outer corner of my eye and I just very lightly am going to run this along my lash line first. And it's not going to be too thick. And I really only go two-thirds of the way in, and I just barely, barely go on the tops of my lashes at this inner corner. It's that same idea, like, I don't like to darken my inner corner, even with eyeliner. I'm really just defining the base of the lash line there. And then once I feel like I've got the lash line, I'm going to go in and build up my wing. I am doing a winged liner for this look. I typically wear a winged liner. So I'm just going to start by using whatever product is left over on my brush and just start building that outer corner up with liner, making sure to blend it in. Now to create the wing, I'm going to go and focus most of the product on this um, higher side of the brush and just get a tiny bit on there to create the shape of the wing before I go in and fill it in. And since we've winged out the shadow, you're kind of just going to follow the shape of your shadow to build up your wing. You want your wing to line up with the tail end of your brow. And then once I have the shape, I'm just going to drag it back in. I'm going to pick up a little bit more product now as well. I'm not going too thick with this one because the outer corner of the eye is so smoky already that this is just kind of like an added bonus. And I am going to put on false lashes. So I think that's pretty good. Now the trick is to get the other side to match. I'm going to do the other side off camera and then I'm going to come back for mascara and falsies. Okay, so I think I got them pretty even. I don't know. I'll let you be the judge. But I'm going to put mascara on now, and I'm using um, Benefits They Are Real. Benefits They Are Real <laughs> mascara. But I'm just going to curl my lashes first. And pop on some mascara. I really like the formula of this mascara when it's like you've had it for a little bit and it starts to get a little bit dry. To me, it's very, very um, waxy and wet when you first get it. And I feel like that makes my lashes really clumpy. 
But once this dries out a bit, it's a really nice mascara. I do really quite like it a lot, actually. I'm getting over a cold, you guys, and I can't stop sniffing. Sorry. Okay, next up is falsies, and I'm using these ones from Ardell. These are just corner lashes. They're the 301. They're um, quite fluttery. This is typically my favorite kind of lash. And we are going to hope that they go on okay. Um, if you don't normally wear false eyelashes, you don't have to wear them with this look because it's already so smoky. You've got naturally good lashes or if you just hate wearing falsies, feel free to skip this bit but I am gonna pop these on just like the drama these are so subtle you could totally wear these in the daytime if you wanted <laughs> surprisingly well for me the trick to lashes is making sure the glue is not super wet so what I like to do is when I start doing my makeup I put a line of glue down just on a I just literally put this on the outside of the package that way the glue gets nice and tacky while you're doing the rest of your makeup and it makes it so much easier to apply these and I also find it helpful to start with my eye open the placement really good and I'm using hot pink tweezers and then just go in and make sure they're stuck down really well and then as the glue is drying just kind of push them up just to make your eyes look really nice and wide and open and awake. So subtle these ones, I could have gone a little crazier. But, it is what it is. Okay, so the last thing to do to finish off this look is to do the lip. And whenever I do this kind of smoky eye, I really go for like a nude, natural looking lip. And I've really been loving this combo lately. I'm going to use this Smash box pencil and put over the top my favorite NARS lippy right now it's called cruising but I'm gonna line my whole lip with this pencil this is a always sharp lip liner and it's called nude fair and I feel like this really closely matches the color of my lip and I'm gonna just slightly overdraw my Kind of cupid's bow area. Just slightly. Also underdraw just the like pouty bit of your lip right here. I need to buy a new one of these, you guys. I'm nearly out of it. It's my favorite. This is again, it's NARS Cruising. Look at it. it's almost gone. Okay, so there you have it. This is my kind of typical smoky eye look. I wear this look all the time. And you guys ask me on Instagram about it all the time, so I figured I would give it a shot to do my first ever makeup tutorial. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you like this look. If you try to recreate it or anything like that, please do tag me on Instagram. I love to interact with you guys on Instagram. Um, and then if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.